I crawled in to the basement window. I've heard the owners dealt in gold and diamonds, and with them gone for the night, everything was mine for the taking. Finally, the big score. Things were looking up for me. I see this box on the floor. It pulls my attention. I can't take my eyes off of it. It is almost as if the box was urging me to open it. I pick it up and inspect it. It was made of dark walnut. The top of the box had weird symbols carved into it. Runes, maybe? The center of the box has a diamond-shaped symbol burned into the wood. The number 24 was carved in the center of the diamond. 24 karat diamond. This is too easy. I open the box and a small black vine whips at me from under the lid. I drop the box and stumble backwards to the floor. The contents splash onto the floor. It's thick, stringy, darker than anything I've ever seen. It starts to bubble and smoke. A thin layer of ash begins to bubble up to the surface and take shape. They look like vines. They writhe and pulse out more of the black void. It is spreading. I'm frozen in shock. I stare at it as more vines climb out. I'm lost in terror. When I come to, I realize the ashy vines have crawled up my legs. It pulses the void onto my skin as it slowly pushes up my body. I can't move, but I feel everything. It's hot and sticky like tar. Steam rises off the surface of my covered skin. My body is pitch black. The living tar that engulfs me crawls up to my face. I scream. A soundless scream as the tar invades my body. Darkness. Silence. I am gone. My body is absorbed and broken down. The void crawls back into the box and closes the lid. The box sits on the floor of the empty room. It was as if no one was ever there. The only difference is the number 25 in the center of the black diamond.